For today's video, I will show you three beautiful, useful 3D prints that you definitely need in your house or office. Thanks to today's sponsor, Polymaker. Let's not waste time, let's make it, let's print it, let's roll the video. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. I recently realized that my desk, and not just my desk, was a little dull and not fitting in with the white theme that I have, which I love. So I thought, why not print in something else with these amazing new filaments that I've been sent from Polymaker. First up is this elegant and yet very useful desk organizer that will replace my Maker World Clock desk organizer for two reasons. Color scheme doesn't match what I have around my office house. Second, it doesn't work anymore. The print took around 5 hours, and here is a time lapse. As for materials, I used this wonderful white marble from the new Polymaker line Panchroma. In fact, I printed this planter a while ago, check the video in the description. And for the accent, I used my usual Polymaker silk copper, which, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm obsessed with this filament. So much that I made the vision enclosure for my Bamboo Lab P1P video in the description. I love the fact that I can fit so much in it, including a foam stand, a calipers, no assembly required for this one except a little insert on the side right here, which is just for the accent, very elegant. Link to the model in the description. And second is this mini desktop bin. Why would I need a mini bin on my desk? Maybe throw in some small pieces or paper, pins, leftover screws and small objects. But most of all because it looks so slick and elegant too. For this model I decided to downscale it a bit because I didn't need it to be that big on my desk. Plus the total printing time was around 8 hours, which I reduced down to around 3-4 hours in total because of the intricate pattern you can see right here. And here is a time lapse. For this model, I used once again Polymaker Cotton White from the Panchroma new line and Matte Winter for the accent. The combination of the two is really soft and pleasant to the eye. Assembly for this model is really easy. Just slide in the pattern piece onto the main body, really tight fit, and then clip on the open lid. The model comes also with a variation if you actually want a lid that opens and closes. Again, link for the model in the description. Before I show you the last model, I want to thank today's sponsor, Polymaker. Revolutionize your creations with Polymaker Panchroma, the first filament engineered to transform color under light. Powered by advanced photochromic tech, Panchroma's dynamic pigments respond to UV light, delivering stunning reversible color shifts. Print with confidence, compatible with PLA settings, nozzle-friendly and optimized for smooth layer adhesion. Whether you're prototyping, designing art or engineering solution, Panchroma blends science and creativity. Unleash the magic of light reactive color, Panchroma by Polymaker where innovation meets imagination. Step into a world that changes with every angle. And finally, the third print, probably the most useful of them all, a modular shoe rack. The one that I have is horrible, wobbly, weak and ugly. Got it on tame, obviously. <laughs> so this one I decided to go with a different color scheme. Lava red, shadow red, silver silk and luminous rainbow. For the interlocking parts I went for neon green. Not much of a color scheme I know, but uh, they have to hold shoes, right? Assembly for this one is really straightforward. Just place the interlocking pieces together, just like that, and put this one on the top and keep going until your desired height for it for your shoe rack. But while I was doing that, I found out that the base with the shadow red was a bit wobbly and soft. So I modified the base, made it bigger and completely solid. Also added a fillet as reinforcement. It worked out great. The original model also comes with a top tray for keys and other household objects. Turned out great and there is more space between the slots. Model in the description down below. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider to subscribe if you're not, drop a like and leave a comment. Check the affiliate links for Panchroma filaments in the description down below. This is Pixel Forge Lab, thank you so much for watching and as usual, I'll catch you on the next one.